The Washington Monument will remain closed through at least Thursday. That's because of the problem with the monument's elevator that began late last week. The cause of the problems over the past week have not been determined, but the National Park Service believes misalignment may have played a role. Also today, the Japanese auto supplier Takata is expected to make a public apology for its defective airbags. The airbags have been linked to at least six deaths and more than 100 injuries. A top Takata executive is expected to say that the chances of the devices exploding are extremely small, but that Takata will replace all that are affected. With the deadline for a nuclear deal with Iran just weeks away, why many Iranians are desperate for the deal to pass. A judge is set to hear from both sides this afternoon in a dispute over the future of Piscataway Drive in Fort Washington, Maryland. Prince George's County is now suing the owners of three properties on that road. You may remember it's been more than a year since a slope slide affected more than two dozen homes there. The county wants to buy those three properties back and start a repair project next week. But one couple's attorney says the county's offer isn't enough. Under eminent domain. The missing SATs in Loudoun County have been found. Turns out they never left the school where students took them. The school's spokesperson told us the tests were found at the bottom of a cart at Broad Run High School. School officials hand delivered the test to the Boston College in Princeton, New Jersey, and it sounds like SAT officials will validate them. Woo, sigh of relief. Right, they won't have to take the right. test again. A reminder for those of you who travel on the Arlington Memorial Bridge, expect to see the curbside lane and four feet of sidewalks closed. This is all part of emergency repairs. Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine will join other local leaders for a noon press conference to highlight the need for federal funding for the bridge. Some cameras at the National Zoo are going dark this morning. That includes the naked mole rat cam, clouded leopard clam, and orangutan cam. The zoo says those cameras are older and need better software. The good news is the popular giant panda cam, it's still up and running. Today, drag queens, Native Americans, domestic violence survivors, and other activists plan to protest at Facebook headquarters in California. The group is upset over the social media company's real name policy, which requires users to create accounts using their real names. You can report those you believe have created a page under a fake name. Some members say the reporting tool is being used to target those who have unique names, resulting in their accounts being shut down. Imagine being locked in a room with friends trying to solve puzzles for fun. That's the premise of an attraction called the Escape Room, and it's the latest attraction in West Michigan. Steve Zagman explains how to escape. Lane splitting is when a motorcycle decides to ride the white line between lanes and between your vehicle and another one. I, I didn't even know it had a name. I didn't right? either. I think it's crazy. Well, California is coming one step closer to becoming the first state to legalize lane splitting. Ben Tracy has more on this controversial move. In the saving of lives. Hmm. Why don't you create special lanes for the bikes rather than lane splitting? I'm very skeptical about that one. No. It doesn't seem to be safe at all. Nope, nope, hmm. nope. Well, time to see what our partners over at CBS This Morning are covering. Charlie Rose is in New York with our preview this morning. Good morning, Charlie. Can you hear us? Good morning, Andrea and Peggy. I can. How are you? From the yeah. act, Enrique Iglesias is recovering after some of his fingers were sliced during a concert in Tijuana, Mexico. And Jaden Smith is back in the news for his latest prom outfit. USA <laughs> Today Entertainment reporter Ariane Thompson is here with this morning's Buzz. Good morning. Hi, good, good morning. morning. So what's with Enrique in the yeah. drone? Yeah, what is part of the act? Yeah, it is. So he does this every night where he has a drone fly over the crowd just okay. to show everything. You know, musicians now like right, to show how right. many people came to see okay. them. Which is, okay. okay, we get it. You sold a lot of tickets. <laughs> so anyway, the drone goes out in the crowd, and I guess some nights he decides to, like, grab the drone and I think show his POV, his point oh, of view. I see. And so he tried that last night, mm. and the drone sliced some of his fingers. Now, mm. I'm not really clear on if some of the tips of them got, like, sliced Sliced off, off? but it sounded pretty severe. But he kept playing. He had huge bloody bandage on his hand, and he played for 30 more minutes. Come on. His finger couldn't have been sliced off. I mean, it could have been, yeah. Yeah, if you play that long. He's so dedicated to And then he drew a bloody heart on his shirt. Okay, note to self, do not try to grab the drone anymore. Exactly. So he was flown immediately to L.A. for surgery, or to see a specialist, I should say. Probably had needed stitches, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll find out. So what's with the prom? 
Summer Outfit and Jaden Smith. We'll have that coming up. Also ahead, some changes coming to the National Zoo today. We'll explain. Stick around.